Hi guys, it's Nintendo13 here. Um, I'm doing a video a little bit different today. It's not a pickup video really. Um, I still don't have the opportunity to be going out and doing any thrifting. But I didn't need to. Um, as I've talked many times about the local computer store, how I pick up games here and there from them. Well, I ended up doing some talking to the owner of the games and worked out a deal for everything that he had. Um, my idea was to buy all of this, to <clears throat> reprice it, clean it up, and start a section of the store of my own. Um, allow me to have my own little video game store. So, with that being said, I'd like to share with you what I have. This is a lot of stuff. Okay, for uh, Super Nintendo, I picked up Jungle Book. I mean, uh, it doesn't want to focus. Um, <clears throat> I got stickers on all these and uh, dirt. I got a. It's gonna be a couple days of cleaning, but I got Mario World and Mario All Stars. Without Mario World, unfortunately. Then uh, that was all all that he had for the Super Nintendo. Uh, let's see, Nintendo 64 got a uh, dropped game. Um, two copies of World Driver. And two copies of Madden 2001. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. WCW vs. NWO, WCW Mayhem, really dirty with nasty stickers all over, I mean, horrible stickers, look at this, bad stickers all over. Anyway, uh, WCW Nitro, I can have a junk game pile, it's awesome. Uh, Triple Play 2000 with horrible stickers all over it, front and back. NHL Breakaway 98. Man, my camera's really bad today. And we got Flying Dragon. I think some of these are the better games coming up here. I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that's Forsaken. I could be wrong. I don't know. You gotta love those. When Hollywood Video used to brand the games, burn it right into it. Whatever. A uh, kind of dirty copy of Mario 64. And I'm going to have so much fun cleaning all these. These are They're going to look like brand new when I'm done with it. F-Zero X. And there's hardly anything in here that I'm even keeping for my own collection. Which makes it the whole thing so much better. Because I've already bought all the games that I wanted out of there for my collection. Um, I just got sick of seeing all these things sit there with nobody doing anything with them and you know I made an offer and it worked out really good. We got uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Not bad. It's got a little bit of label damage on the front looks like. Maybe some water damage or something. So I'll knock the price down a bit. And we got Star Fox 64. Great game. Bad label. And one that I wanted for a while, I still might not keep this one though, just because the label is worn some, but uh, Yoshi Story. And then we got Hey You Pikachu with the microphone and the VRU or whatever it is. We got Pokemon Puzzle League. Nice Pokemon Stadium with no writing in the box, which is a bonus. It's got a sticker all over it, but that'll come off. And Pokemon Stadium 2. Really clean copy. This one's really nice. And then these three I actually did pull out to the side. Um, I wanted to play them. I don't know if I'm going to add them to my collection or if I'm just going to sit on them until I play them. But we got Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Tooie 
And finally, Donkey Kong 64. Then, well, let's see. I guess I want to go to the Genesis. Not that I really care, I don't. And I just dropped a bunch of games. So, let me fix my camera, if I can. Maybe I can't. Quit falling. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Um, I don't really care for Genesis at all. Um, but it was part of the deal. So, I got a complete copy of the Not For Resale Sonic in the box. And a complete Incredible Hulk. Complete. And then we got no manual Joe Montana's Sport Talk Football. Yippee. Um, a complete copy of Tom, uh, Tommy Lasorda's baseball. And no manual Sonic Spinball. And one of the coolest games in the lot. This is actually something that I don't know. It might go on to eBay, uh, it might just go into the store, it's not going to stay in my collection. Or if any of you guys are out there, um, do collect Genesis and are interested in this game, it's going to be available one way or another. And that is, the manual has a little bit of damage to it, not really, just bends and stuff. Anyway, it's a complete copy of Risky Woods. Looks like a really good game. Judging by the back of the box, this thing looks like a lot of fun. And it's getting a nice little price on it, too. But I was definitely looking forward to getting this one out of there because I knew I was going to be able to grab it cheap. So, let's see. Um, we'll skip over to Nintendo. We have... Six copies of Mario Duck Hunt. Woohoo, one with label damage. But, uh, it, it, stuff still sells, I guess. So, then we got, let's see, there's going to be quite a few of these. We got Vindicators, Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge, Bases Loaded Second Season. Turtles 2, the arcade game. Karnov. Joust. Rad Racer. Jackal. Jurassic Park. Tetris. Elevator Action. Michael Andretti's World GP. Barker Bill's Trick Shooting. Akari Warriors 2, Victory Road. Arch Rivals. Ten Yard Fight. Mario Duck Hunt World Track Meet. Galaga. Dr. Mario. Snake's Revenge. Snake Rattle and Roll. I might keep that one. I've been looking for that one. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Track and Field 2. Golf. Top Gun. Mag Max. A horrible label and a really dirty game, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. It's a really bad label. I don't really know what to do with it. Clean it up and probably try to sell it cheap, I guess. 1943. That's another one that might go in my collection. Uh, 
Double Dragon 2. 720. Pro Wrestling. Hopefully this cleans up. I don't know if it's stain or dirt or what it is, but we got Tech Mobile. Really dirty copy. Ice Hockey. RBI Baseball. Dragon Warrior. Mock Rider. I told you there's a lot of Nintendo here. Time Lord. Anticipation. Alan <laughs> Jr.'s Turbo Racing. Dig Dug 2. Too bad that wasn't number one. Uh, Battle of Olympus. Terminator 2. Blaster Master. Hogan's Alley. Another copy of Pro Wrestling. Really nasty, dirty copy of Heavy Barrel. Yeah, I didn't get to cleaning up any of this stuff yet. I was too excited about getting down here and showing it off. Eight Eyes. Classic Concentration. Blades of Steel. Skater Die. Hollywood Squares. Cobra Triangle. And then a really destroyed copy of Hook. You can see it's all smashed. Great game. I'm going to have to keep it just because I wouldn't sell it in this condition. But, uh, yeah, I wish it was nicer. That's a good one. And then, um, this is, what is it, American Video Entertainment. One of them knockoff game uh, cartridges from Hong Kong. But it's called Tiles of Fate. And then we got... Two copies of Bubble Bobble, both of number one, sadly. Uh, I'll be keeping one of these. I need one for my collection, and um, I was going to buy it anyway. Uh, Mario 3 with the cracked label. You can see that uh, cracked plastic of the label. I don't know what does that, but it's kind of gross. And then these three will probably stay in my collection, too. We got... Kirby's Adventure. I really want to play that one. Um, and it might just stay there long enough until you know I, I play it and then throw it out there for sale. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That was one I was definitely wanting to get. And Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link Gold Card. That's really really clean copy. It's great condition. I, mean, it, I was very happy with this one. So that's why I say it might stay in my collection. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess I did have some more uh, Genesis games, but nothing special here. I have... Ooh, Barney Hide and Seek game. Beauty and the Beast. Marco. And Sonic and Knuckles with no cover on the top. Then... I ended up with 16 of these random cases right here. Uh, only a couple of them say Nintendo on them, which I absolutely love these. I picked up a few of the better ones uh, a couple weeks ago when I was in there buying some games. But I was able to get a whole bunch more that don't have them, that are just, just plain. So I'm not really sure what I'll do with those yet, but I got those. Okay, I got a uh, Game Boy camera. Definitely looking forward to popping this on and finding out what kind of pictures are on there. It's always fun to do. 
and really cool item that it's it's beat to hell so it's not going to be worth anything but it's definitely going to be sitting on my shelf um, it's missing the back of course but it's the gold and silver Pokemon edition so I thought that was really cool but it's just you can't really tell it's bad condition it's all the paints all worn off most of it but I don't care it's still pretty neat and then we got uh, two Genesis Model 1's two of those and got two Genesis Model 2's no 3's unfortunately got one slim PS2 three regular PS1's uh, Nintendo 64 with the expansion pack huge bonus there I'll swap the jumper pack out of mine and keep the expansion pack and then I got a Nintendo this one I still gotta test it I popped um, new, well not new, I popped new used pins, it was used pins, out of uh, this Nintendo. There was two of them there. So actually, um, what I'm probably going to do is tear it all apart. Um, this one's just going to be junk now. I mean, the, I, I put it all back together, but it's garbage, it's broken, I don't know, nasty looking. I'm going to, I know I just asked for a board. I'm going to check this out before I have anybody go through any more trouble to find me a board for my uh, salvaged one from my mother's house and see if I can get this board right here to work good for mine. Other than that, I actually have another one I can put in the store for sale. Now, I'm not going to go through all of it, but... I ended up with a huge box, a, a massive box full of controllers and cords and uh, I think there's seven Nintendo 64 controllers, four or five Super Nintendo controllers, four NES controllers, a bunch of Genesis stuff, a um, bunch of PS1, PS2 controllers, a Zapper, a Sega and Nintendo Quick Shot. The, the flight stick quit shotguns or uh, controllers couple GameCube I, I don't know there's a whole mess a whole lot of stuff right there I do believe that that's it though um, yeah I got a big old stack of PS1 games down here that are mostly junk and they're pretty much all too scratched up to be considered anything not really sure what I'll do with them, but I'm not going to sell them like that. I just won't. But this whole entire lot right here, I I got for 300 bucks, And it was, I thought, a very fair deal. Um, it definitely opened up a chance for me to uh, start selling in a store setting where I can bring my own stuff, all my games that I don't want anymore and I can start taking in you know trades and buying stuff from people that want to make some cash and yeah I, I'm really excited about this opportunity and this was about the only way that I could do it was to buy him out completely so I'm very excited I just got the stuff home a little bit ago and I haven't even sat down to do much more than you know, start my cup of coffee and just rip into it and start showing it off on here but uh yeah I, if any of this stuff you know catches your eye is something that you're needing or whatever let me know uh, i'll tell you if it's already gone but like i said i'm not keeping very much of it it's just going to go into what's going to be my store now or at least my section of the store um I know there's nobody that's going to be in the area, but 
if you come around to Wasso, Michigan, and you, you know, stop at a place called Technical Difficulties, and, yeah, if I'm not there, tell them that I sent you, and buy some of my stuff. <laughs> but, anywho, other than that, uh, I hope you liked the video. I know I, I had a lot of fun uh, getting stuff ready for it, and, man, I'm still just, I'm giddy. I want to go play with the stuff, tear it all apart and clean everything. So, anyway, thanks for checking it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you uh, probably later on this week with a pickup video. All right. Thanks.